The Roadster certainly stole the show, if you will, when it was introduced at the end of the Tesla event. The headline going into last night were these two trucks, a couple of day cabs that were uh, driven in. Elon Musk walked out of them. These are the new Tesla semis coming in 2019. What's interesting about this truck is in the cab itself, the steering wheel is in the middle. It's not on the left or on the right, depending if you're in the U.S. or in Europe. And it has an interesting range here of 500 miles and according to Elon Musk, even if it's fully loaded with 80,000 pounds, it'll go zero to 60 in 20 seconds. We designed the Tesla truck to be like a bullet. So whereas a normal diesel truck is designed more like a barn wall, this is a bullet. That's zero to 60 in 20 seconds fully loaded. Check this out. This is the new Tesla Roadster, zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. It'll be the fastest production car built according to Elon Musk with a range of 620 miles. You'll be able to travel from LA to San Francisco and back at highway speed without recharging. <laughs> the, the, the point of doing this is to just give a hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. <laughs> And the Elon Musk fans and Tesla fans in attendance last night, they loved it. If you take a look at shares of Tesla, keep in mind that what really drives this stock right now is the issue of the Model 3 production, the, the problems that Tesla is having ramping up production. There was no mention of the Model 3 yesterday. There was no briefing with reporters by Elon Musk ahead of the unveil, as we've seen with previous Tesla events. So we couldn't ask him about where things stand when it comes to the Model 3. This was all about the T's with the, uh, the Roadster at the end, as well as the truck, which, by the way, guys, Tesla says it will have costs, when fully operated, 20% lower than comparable diesel models, although they didn't give us a price on the Tesla Semi. We'll see if the trucking industry is impressed by what it saw last night. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.